Yes. Uh, obviously, sad news came through today uh, in terms of um, a, a really famous director, Wolfgang Peterson, yes. who directed the likes of Das Boot and Air Force One, has sadly died at the age of 81 uh, yep. from pancreatic cancer. It's um, a killer. It's the worst kind of cancer. Uh, so hard to find uh, in the yep, body until yep. it's too late. And then it's something like a 25% so chance of being... so many good people pass away with it as we well. We have, yeah. You know, really young football players who played for our club. Yeah. Passing away in their mid-30s. Pretty sure Patrick Swayze. Patrick yeah, Swayze yeah, passed away yeah. with it. Alan Rickman passed yeah, away with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It is horrific. Yeah, but this is the man here, and as you can see from the graphic area, it's alongside another one of our heroes, Harrison yep, Ford. Harrison, That's obviously yep. Air Force One. Um, obviously with Gary Oldman in there as well. But two-time Oscar nominee Wolfgang Peterson, Air Force One and Das Boot director, has died at the age of 81. Born in Germany in 1941, Peterson made his feature film debut with the psychological thriller One or the Other of Us, starring Jürgen Prouchnow. Now, what, yeah. which was perceived as controversial at the time, but also received largely positive reviews from critics. Peterson would follow up with one of the most celebrated films to date, yeah. in Das Boot, about the crew of a German submarine during World War II's Battle of the Atlantic, which scored six Oscar nominations, including two for Peterson for Peter uh, for Best Director and Best Adapted Screen. Still to this day, one of the truly epic World War Two movies goes on forever. Yeah, yeah, a long one, but John. Important yeah, though, Stephen. Well, I, I don't want to sidetrack you, but no, very no, no. important because uh, I'll just stay off screen because much like Stalingrad, it shows that look, war is evil on both sides. Yeah. You have evil, powerful people dictating and using human lives as pawns and it's not a case of black and white mm. good evil the common man who's been called out to fight for his war he's cut of this war for his country he's every bit as unwilling and as perhaps innocent if there's such a thing in war as the allies that both mm. sides there was good good young people passed yeah. away who didn't want to do it and that's why it's important these kind of movies it, it humanises well the, the ground a, forces yeah exactly and if, I think if it's, pricks a, them. if it's a story to be told and told in depth I don't really mind the running time of it yeah, um, you know especially with something like that the Battle of the Atlantic John but yeah. um, that wasn't the films that I grew up with this man it was obviously the likes of the never ending story yeah uh, which Pro-pro-pro. most people have seen at my age I, I don't know if you've seen it John but I would excuse it you I, I know the title out, I don't know if I've seen it was it out really. long before obviously you were alive but uh, Dennis Quaid's Enemy Mine a lot of people didn't like it I know it was a bit of a critical flop um, I didn't mind it me and my dad hired it in VHS out of Global Video and we both enjoyed it we're both fans of Dennis Quaid as well at the time did but your then, dad pick it? My dad did pick it, yeah. He was he was very good at picking videos at that period uh, before he went a bit mad. He was picking the B yeah. hits from <laughs> famous movies. The sort of B movies, yeah. Armageddon, but not the Armageddon we all know and love. <laughs> Some other version. Um, Almost Stephen Dolphin. Oh, Home Up Channel version or something like that, I don't know. Yeah, but, uh, yeah it was 1984, yeah. yeah. If you look at um, the likes of the the more recent ones, John, I'm saying recent, it's probably about 20, 30 years old now, but yeah. let's say Air Force One and the Line of Fire outbreak. Oh, the great. Perfect Storm, Stephen, 2000. Storm, that yeah, went I mean, to the theatre, you see all, that movie? And they're all household names, John, these films, you know. And, um, it surprises me how uh, poorly... Perfect Storm's rated on Rotten Tomatoes, looking back, 47%. I, liked it. I, I, I did like thought it was it. a pretty decent movie, and I thought the way they subverted the expectations he was at the also, end, um, with them all dying, I thought it was... He was also in The Running, John, one of your favourite films, or one of your favourite yeah, film franchises, first Stone, yeah. the first Harry Potter film as well, John. But I'm kind of glad they didn't, because Christopher Columbus is... Yeah. Th- those oh, yeah. first two movies are special, Stephen, there's just something about yeah. the energy, the feel, it feels magical, it feels true to the books. And I think Christopher done a brilliant job, but again, yeah. I'm sure that Wolfgang would have done an equally brilliant job. It would have been a different movie. Yeah, it's um, like the guy in that image. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like the guy in the image with him, Harrison, getting asked the question. Would it be fair to mm. say that Indiana Jones would have been a different character, different kind of movie? If I think it was Tom Selleck <laughs> was cast, and he says, "Well, yeah, it'd have been different, but maybe no less brilliant." But yeah. Yes, yeah, a wonderful director. Um, you look through the list. I really enjoyed the Perfect Storm, as I say. As I yeah, went to see that film, yeah. with my mum and my sister in the theatres. Fantastic ending. Back First time day, I'd yeah. probably seen a movie that subverted the sort of Hollywood tropes of the good guys see it out in the end and they all live happily also ever after. Also, a, a good film to watch in the cinema as well. It was. Visually. It was, yeah. It was very impressive. Good film, yeah. And then you look through the other ones, I'm looking at some of the, the ones, Bicentennial Man, he was involved in that, it was yep. one of the lesser, yep. Yep. like Robin Williams movies to be fair, but 
Ist auch interessant. Ja. Das war man sehen, ja, man. Ähm, eine Mai im Ein, ja. ich spoke about in the line of fire, Poseidon, well, I grew up on a diet Poseidon, of classic yeah. movies from the 70s, Ernest Borgin's original Poseidon was much better than the remake from 2006, but it was still a decent movie, man, it was still a decent remake, it kind of followed beat by beat the original, not quite as good for me, Outbreaks in there, Stephen, so this is, film, yeah. this is a guy yeah. who is getting Troy, I actually quite like Troy. It's okay, yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. this guy's in a steam career, both in Germany and in Hollywood, making brilliant movies, working with some of the best talent in the industry. And at 81, yeah, he's on the older side of things in terms of human life, but he's not that old. There's people living older these days. I mean, he, uh, for me, I think the average age now should be like 85, 86. Yeah, you always have some p- yeah. unlucky person dying younger yeah. and reducing the, the life expectancy of a country. But all the males on my side of the family have all got to mid 80s. So that to me is still quite young. So pancreatic cancer's yeah. a bastard. Yeah. And the sooner we get rid of it, the better. But what, you'll be sadly this, man. Yeah. He's, he's thoughts, and, you know, thoughts and prayers to his family at this sad time. I will see it, Stephen. The last yeah. thing I'll see on it, we're losing a lot of great people yeah. now. They're starting to come thick and fast. Some untimely, some less so. A lot of people starting to pass away, and there's some really really big names who have not got long left mm. they're about to shuffle off this mortal coil and mortal coil if I can speak and it's going to be sad man the world will be a more empty depressing place without these people who have shaped multiple generations of film fans yeah. and just f- people in general with their work yeah definitely John um, but we'll, we're going to move on if anyone wants to drop a lot of comment and uh, maybe mention your Wolfgang Peterson, your favourite film from the director? Maybe mention your first film that you saw him in, or something like that, I don't know. Um, just drop a comment and... Uh, we'll for me it was Air Force One. Yeah, for me it was uh, uh, Never Ending Story, or or Enemy Mine, I don't know in which order. Probably The Never Ending Story, I think that was out before, I think maybe two years before. Yeah, it was 84, I searched yeah. up, yeah. So, um, yeah, some great childhood memories from the man himself, but feel free to drop a comment on yes. that topic. But we're going to move